The Senate Committee on Ethics and Privileges is expected this week to turn in its report on alleged secret plot by the Governor of Nasarawa State, Senator Adamu Abdullahi, to topple Saraki as President of the Senate. The committee was mandated in March to investigate alleged plot by Senator Abdullahi to incite President of the Senate, Bukola Saraki, during a secret meeting blocked by one of the senators in attendance. Chuka Odita tells us more. If found culpable, the Senate may suspend the ranking senator for alleged plot against leadership of the Senate. This is sequel to Senator Obina Ogba's matter for urgent attention brought forward under Order 42 of the Senate Standing Rules. He informed the Senate during plenary in March that voice data evidence exists to prove the allegation that Senator Abdullah Adamu convened a meeting with the agenda of unseating Saraki. The meeting, according to him, was attended by lawmakers invited by the Nasara senator to seek their support for this mission. I have evidence to show what I'm saying. There's a telephone discussion going on, which can also, any other person can also print it out, between distinguished senator Abdullah Adam and some other people. Abdullah, who is leader of a group called Parliamentarians in Support of Buhari in the National Assembly, before the group was prescribed by Senate President, vows he will do all within his powers to truncate Senate adoption of election sequence change in 2019 election. Why do you want to make a law to address one, just one particular problem? Let me talk to the target. Target of This is a very partisan report. Very partisan, because you can see from the body language, from the, from the utterances openly, from the gesturing that uh, it is a pretty determined thing for a political party that is threatened by the APC government. I want to be sure that whatever incumbency uh, gives to anybody, we are denied that one. That's what the is in this report. And uh, I am among those standing with me here and those that are still coming out of the You know, we, 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 we are not part of this. But the position we took is that 36 people in the House of Reps cannot determine the fate of the the destiny of 360 people in the house, which is now being carried over to a Senate of 109. So we felt that yes, if a conference committee is set up to reconcile differences, the least we are owed, the very least we are owed, is for this very so-called amendment to Section 25 to be deliberated upon. And our rule book is very, very clear. With the adoption of change in election sequence, the National Assembly polls come first followed by gubernatorial elections and then the state assembly elections, while the presidential election come last. Unless the president of the Senate decides otherwise in the interest of peace, the recommendations for suspension may be upheld. This is in view of increasing internal power tussle ahead of 2019 by some senators who are divided on the re-election bid of President Muhammadu Buhari. Recall that the same committee, after reviewing Ovi Omagege's comment on the election reordering issue, slammed him a 90-day suspension a development Saraki says is to send a strong signal to others that the Senate must not lose focus but concentrate on making people-oriented laws. Chuka Odita, Core TV News, Abuja.